How can an MD? Who the heck is a Befeli? Uh, what did he do? Where is the factory? He was a bank man, a floor bank man. Somehow got license. At the same time, we are Adeola. All of them, stupendously wealthy now. Wigwe, who became MD of uh, Assets Bank. Mm. Eh? Immediately, uh, with the other young man left. Uh, has now established a university. Mm. He has the temerity to be advertising that university on CNN. Wigwe University. That's personally established by him. Where is the money? Where is his factory? I says bank. What is the practice? They release dollars to them on monthly basis. They use the dollars. If it's at one to hundred, they will get it the, through the mala to say one to two hundred. You see that profit. What do they do with it? Who are the commercial people that really need it and get it? Most people get back to the to the mala to buy. No, you hardly will get from the bank unless you are. Is that commercial activity? So what they had done to this nation, they must all be invited for discussion because the rottenness started from that and it's been going on for years. Mm. But it has exploded now on our faces. And what MFL is, have you ever seen any central bank of any country giving personal loan to individuals? Are we mad? What, what, was, what was going on in his head? Commercial bank? You turn the central bank to a commercial bank. Central bank that should be irresponsible for your fiscal and monetary policies. They forgot completely. And then he had the, the temerity to say, ah, I wanted to contest as uh, president. <laughs> because he has stolen so much money. So guys, it is really very difficult to react to this video because the exit of this man pained, I mean, almost every Nigerian, you know, is mourning for the exit of this man. I mean, these are some of the people who say, oh, thank God we have people like them. But coming to hear that, you know, they are into some of the shady games that have been taking Nigeria backward is really, 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 really uh, an indication that Nigeria, I mean, corruption has eaten up the fabrics of Nigeria as a country. So guys, let me just stop there because I don't really want to react because we know that the death of this man is something that everybody is feeling it honestly because of the job opportunities he has created and all that but when it when corruption is being mentioned or tied to his name that one alone is another thing so guys let me allow you watch this video of oshomole under buari and oshomole under tinubu you are going to see the difference just for you to know that these politicians they don't mean well for nigeria they are just waiting for they are just like the agburus in the park waiting for any vehicle around any vehicle available they will just do the loading and just say farewell they don't even know the destination of that vehicle that is what these politicians are doing just take a look at what oshomole the same oshomole, oshomole said during buari and what he's saying now during tinubu take a look at this You said it, President Buhari is not eligible uh, to recontest. And um, I believe APC will still benefit from his uh, support base because those who believe in him still believe in him. Uh, the reason they believe in him is because, uh, namely, there's an honest man. He committed Nigeria, one that fought for the unity of this country. A man of few words, but he commands huge integrity. I don't believe that those qualities have gone. I believe people still respect him a lot. Uh, for those reasons. And therefore, if he directs his followers, those who believe in him, that this is where, and he has done that. In a recent statement issued uh, on his behalf by one of his media aides, he was reported, and I watched it on Channel Television, as saying that, let nobody talk of a hidden agenda. That he, President Muhammad Buhari, 
belongs to EPC, he will campaign and support and invite those who are who believe in him to support EPC from the presidency to the Senate to the House of Rep to governorship and House of Assembly. This is no rumor. So with President Buhari's voice on the side of Asiwaju, that's a huge electoral asset. With all due respect to uh, our elder statesman, Atiku Abubakar. Yes, well, I mean, any reasonable person will know that the economy was in a dire strain um, and, and things were really very terrible when this government got into power. And any reasonable person will also know that this volatile administration needs to be given time to be able to fix things. However, things were so bad that people are suffering adversely. And that adverse effect of the sufferings and the hardship is touching the bottom line so much that if we are not careful, people may not be able to feed. And so the question of how long it will take, because you are one of those who were vigorously campaigning for the, uh, the Bola Tinubu presidency. And now that we are here, uh, seven months down the line, the question will be how much more can we wait? Or how much more can the people who are suffering suffer? First loyalty is to the Nigerian nation. And yes, the fact that uh, we belong to APC. At a point, if you follow the bill, you are too busy, maybe in Abuja. Even before the, pre the last president left office, I lamented aloud, queried aloud, and denounced aloud what I saw as a reckless policy that were designed to dehumanize a population that was already in pain. And I thought that that is not what the, what the then president promised. And I said, I dissociated myself from those policies. And I'm happy that no, I wasn't the only one. There were governors who felt so strong that they went to the, approach the court to deny some of those policies. It is long term, some of the consequences of those policies that we are still happy with now. I am on record as saying that those who say our currency will expire, not due to our own fault, confiscating our currency, but with the change of government, they will expire. And our currency will be valid. And this has come to pass. There is no denying this. Yes, it's our party platform. But Latinibu also said, he was never a minister in that government. He was not an advisor in that government. He never took contract in that government. And then we cannot be held responsible for what the government did right or did wrong. But I don't think tonight you want to, I really don't find any joy. Because like I said to my colleagues on the Senate, I did come to Abuja to lament. Let's think of what do we do differently to fix it. Hmm. So, because when, it so guys, this is Oshomole denouncing Buhari. He's now a friend of Tinubu. Now he's now criticizing Buhari. If you had listened to the initial clip, you will hear him saying that Buhari is a man of few words. He doesn't have problem. He doesn't speak too much and he knows what he's doing. And now on that Tinubu, Oshomole is criticizing the same Buhari. Nigeria, which way? Which way? Can you begin to understand the kind of politicians we have? Nigerians, can you begin to understand the kind of politicians we have in Nigeria? It's all about, you know, where the direction the wind goes, they follow, no matter, even if it's just shadow they are pursuing in that direction, it doesn't bother them. So guys, you have seen it for yourself. Just for you to be taking notes of the kind of people we have in politics, the people handling the affairs of Nigeria. Tell me how this country wants to progress under the leadership of these people. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.